This is Twit. How did this get started? How, how, where, where, where did React PHP come from? Well, initially, um, the the uh, original creator Igor um, started playing around with the idea of, of uh, what Node.js does, what it did for JavaScript, uh, and if see if it's possible to do that in PHP as well. And back then, <laughs> the the project was called Node PHP. Okay. Um, that didn't work out well. Uh, it was changed within weeks, days. I, I have to look it up, but um, for the wisely, uh, but it, it, it grew from there, and it, it started uh, with a simple socket server and a simple uh, stream, uh, which just reads right from uh, streams you get from the operating system. Um, and really, really basic. Not what we have today. Um, and we grew from there. We, we grew from a single repository into a repository with, with multiple packages in it. And from there on, we grew into um, different repositories for each package because maintaining one version for everything turned out to be a hassle. You have to keep everything updated and, and compatible with each other with each release. So what we have done in the last year is how well are you how well do you know PHP at the moment? Are you aware with the the standards we have? I'm uh, I'm I'm really totally naive on PHP. I, I okay, tried okay, playing with cool. it many years ago, but no, no, I don't nothing of PHP. So what happened um, a couple of years ago is that a group of developers from different frameworks started a standardization organization. So. We now have, uh, well, one of them is PSR7, which defines a request and response objects and their signatures and how they should respond. Mm. So what we did is we changed our HTTP server so that you get a PSR7 request object. And you can pass that object to another project that supports PSR7. So we don't care what you run on your side. Here's an object you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. Hook it into your framework or library or, or project, and it behaves the way you expect it to behave. Um, which is one of the, the greatest things we did the past year. And to do that, for an HTTP server, we actually had to implement multi-part parsing, form URL encode parsing, um, all that kind of things you normally get for free with, well, free with Nginx. Right. Um, but yeah, that, that is great. Um, but to do that, we had to think about how servers work, think about what happens when the connection comes in. And for small projects, you have maybe four or five connections uh, at the same time. And it doesn't matter if you handle them and if there are uploads. But we also have to think about what happens if 100 clients connect and they mm -hmm. all have 100 megabytes of data in their request. How are we going to handle that? Um, how are we going to prevent the server from not crashing? Because if PHP hits its memory limit, it dies. It gets killed off um, by, the, by PHP itself. So we have to take care of that. We have to, to make sure that doesn't happen. So what we did is we created two servers. One of them is a streaming server. The other one is a uh, normal server. And what the normal server does, it uh, uses uh, a bit of middleware. Um, and those middleware handle uh, request um, body buffering, limiting the number of uh, open handlers for requests. So let's say you have a limit of five. The sixth request comes in. And then we pass that sixth request until the one of the other five is done. And that way we ensure um, the server doesn't run out of RAM or cool. not as fast. Yeah, uh, that was... Cool. Yeah, we and, really uh, let's, with that. Let's, yeah, let's step back a little bit because I, I think you sure. said something really important that we might have glossed right over. So would it mm. be fair to say then that React PHP is uh, to PHP what Node.js is to JavaScript? That's a really dangerous question, but in a way, yes. 
<laughs> we will, well, JavaScript is asynchronous from nature, but uh, Node.js provides really uh, a set of really cool tools to do a lot more with that. And we're trying to, uh, we, yeah, we aim to do the same with PHP. So we give you a bunch of low-level components, like the HTTP server, which then builds on our socket server, um, and do those those things. And you can implement it the way you want it. We're, we're not going to stop you. We're going to advise you what to do and what not to do. Um, but it's all up to you, and it's it's your uh, responsibility. 